Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 1.1 of our virtual geometry text on the foundations of geometry. We're going to be looking at how to name points, lines, and intersections. An example problem that captures what we're going to be covering in this tutorial is depicted here. So for example, you have to count and name all the points um, in this diagram that's presented to your right. Do not forget, we have a four-part practice problem at the end of this presentation we'd like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. To gain access to the entire geometry course, Algebra 1, 2, Pre-Calc, and Calculus, you can take a look at the links in the description below or visit our website at mathgodserved.com. All right, to get us started, we're going to be reviewing some key vocabulary terms that you need to know to do well in this presentation and the next part. So this is our website, mathgodserve.com slash geometry. Uh, we're going to go down, scroll down to the geometry, uh, to the vocab section, okay? All right, so let's do a real quick review of our vocabulary um, terms. First is point. What is a point? Well, a point is defined as a location in space or on a surface with no size. It is represented by a dot and labeled with a capital letter. As, as you can see, the diagram of a point right here. Okay, and if you want to name it, you call it point K. Next, line. What is a line? A line is a straight collection of points that extends infinitely in both directions. It has infinite length with no width or height. So this is a diagram of a line right here. How do you name this? You can either name it using two points on the line or the lowercase letter at the um, at one of the endpoints of the line. So you can name this line AB or line P, okay? And then the symbolic representation is just the two points on the line and then uh, with a linear um, arrowhead on top of the two points. All right, and then you also need to know what a ray is. What is a ray? A ray is part of a line that starts from one endpoint and extends indefinitely in one direction. So we have that here. You can see the first endpoint A and it extends indefinitely in the direction of point B. So if you want to name this, you can call this ray AB. Symbolically, you just write down the two points, uh, starting with the one with the end point, and then you have an arrow, arrowhead on top of the two letters going in the direction of the second point from the um, original end point, okay? And then we have line segment. A line segment is part of a line that connects two endpoints and is bounded by them. Okay, a segment does not go beyond its boundary points. So this is a diagram of a segment here. So it's bounded by AB. So if you want to name this segment, you call it segment AB. And then symbolically, you just have the two endpoint letters with a segment um, line above the two letters. And then angle. Angle is basically a space between the intersection of two rays or lines at a common endpoint known as a vertex, okay? So if you take a look at what we have here, we have two rays uh, that has a common endpoint right here. So this space between them is known as the angle. There are three ways you can name the angle. You can either use the three um, letters, okay? Two points on the rear of the vertex point. So you can call this angle A, B, C. Notice that the mid, the point in the middle represents the vertex, okay? Or you can call this angle B just using the letter that's on the vertex, or sometimes it's represented with a number inside uh, the ray, okay? Or you can call this angle one. So symbolically, you have the angle symbol, either angle ABC, angle one, or angle B. How about a plane? Think about a piece of paper, right? That's an example of a plane. A plane is a flat surface with infinite number of points extending in all directions. Planes have infinite width and length with no height. So this is an example of a plane right here. And you can name this plane using the three points that are on the plane, plane ABC, or just a little letter on the right side, um, or you can call this plane K. All right, another term that you need to be aware of to do well in this presentation is collinear points, okay? So what does collinear mean? Co basically means that points that form that are on the same line, okay? So collinear means together on the same line. So definition, points that lie on the same line are collinear, all right? And then non-collinear points basically represent points that do not lie on the same line. 
All right, so this is a diagram, diagrammatic um, representation of collinear points. You notice that these three points lie on the same line. So what are they? Points A, B, and C are collinear. And then lastly, coplanar points. Remember, collinear means they're all on the same line. Coplanar, if you think about it, it basically means that they're all on the same plane. So points that lie on the same plane are coplanar points and non-coplanar points do not lie on the same plane. So in this representation that we have here, these three points are coplanar because they are all on plane ACB or plane K. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this um, multi-part practice problem that we have here. So the number 1A says, count and name all the following. So we want to name all the points. Okay, so remember what a point is. It's just a location or a dot in in a plane, on a plane or in space, okay? So how many dots do we have here associated with a capital letter? Those are the points. So this is a point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so all these points right here are the points. So let's write down our answer. We have for number one A, there are seven points and let's go ahead and name them their points a b c d e f and g all right so those are all the points um on this diagram that we have to our right okay let's move on to the next section we are to name all the all the lines so the lines are basically a straight collection of points that extends indefinitely in um, both directions, okay? So this, you see this arrow right here going to the right and this going down? This is a line because it extends indefinitely in both directions. So that's one line, and then we have another line right here, and then we have another line right here. So we have a total of three lines, okay? So let's focus on the first line, this line that goes up and down right here. So let's call it, this is the first line, line one. So first of all, let's indicate how many lines that we have. For number 1B, there are three lines total. So for the first one, we, since there are three points here, we can name it in three different ways. We can call it um, line C, B, or we can call it line uh, BD, or guess what? We can call it line CD. So that's how we'll, we'll name the first line, okay? Second line, let's, let's call this slanted line right here, line two. Let's name that. Um, the second slanted line right here, we can just call it line EG. There are only two points on it. So that's sufficient to name it with. Are, they all, are those other lines that we have? No, the one going left, right. Okay, let's call this line three. So let's name that. So line three. Oh, we can, there are multiple ways we can name this. We can call this line AB, or we can call it line um, BE, or we can call it line EF, or we can call it line AF. All right, so these are the possible ways we can name this line, line number three, going from left to right. Okay, so intersections. Intersections are basically the points where two lines um, cut each other. Okay, so if we look at this diagram that we have right here, how many intersections do we have? Right here, line CD and line AF, they cut each other right here, so that's an intersection. And over here, uh, line EG and line AF, intersect right here so those are the two points of intersection okay so number one C let's write down how many intersections there are so for one C there are two intersections and they are located on points uh, where where are they points B and E those are the uh, points of intersection. Okay, and the next question, we have to name 
three sets of three collinear points. You remember what collinear means? Collinear means that they are all on the same line, okay? So I want to uh, name any collection of three points that lie on the same line. So we can go with these three, A, B, E, those are collinear, C, B, D, those are collinear, and what else? How about B, E, F? Those are collinear also, okay? So let's go ahead and name our three colin three sets of three collinear points number two um, our collinear points collinear points are so the first one is points a b and e and then the second one is points c b d And what's the last one? The last one is, there are more, okay? But I'm just, we're asked to name only three. So so points B, E, and F, B, E, and F. And they're collinear again because they lie on the same line. Okay, and then we have another add-on question, number three. So for the question number three, what we're to do is to name three non-collinear points, okay? So what does that mean? Basically, three points that do not all fall on the same line. We have that. We have multiple cases of that here. So, for example, if you look at C, B, E, these points are non-collinear. Why? Because they do not fall on the same line. Or you can look at A, B, D. These are non-collinear. Why? Because they do not fall on the same line. You can also look at E, F, G. So, any group of points that do not form lie on the same line, those are non-collinear points, okay? The opposite of collinear is non-collinear. So let's just name only one. Three points that are non-collinear, so non-collinear points are, uh, what are they? Uh, non-collinear points A, B, D. So that's just one example. All right, okay, now it's your turn to do some practice. This problem, so go ahead and pause this video presentation and try out these um, three problems using this diagram to the right, right here. And when you're done, click on the playback button and we're going to reveal to you what the correct answers are. All righty, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try out the practice problems. Let's take a look at what the solutions are. So for the first one, 1A, let's, um, Count all the points. How many points do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six points. Let's let's label them. They are points F, D, E, C, A, B. Okay? Or you can say point A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. And then one B. Lines. How many lines do we have here? There are three lines. Let's label them. So the first line, you can call it line FE. That's one way to write lines. And then secondly, we have line DC. And then lastly, we have line AB. All right, number two, we are to name two sets of three collinear points. So we have one here, FDE and DCB. So collinear points are uh, the first one, we have points um, F, D, E, points F, D, and E. And then for the second set of three collinear points, we have points D, C, and B. They are all collinear vertically, okay? All right, number three, we're to name three non-collinear points. So for number three, what do we have? Three points that do not fall on the same line. So three non-collinear points, there are a lot of them. We have FDC, ABC, EDC. Uh, let's use that one, let's use EDC. All right, so those are um, non-collinear because they do not fall on the same line. So non-collinear points, non Collinear points are 
points E, D, and C. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, how well did you do on these practice problems? Let us know what your score is in the comment section below and if you have any questions or clarifications concerning any parts of these practice problems or what we went on over in the tutorial, let us know and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation, we really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of geometry, do give us a like or a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other presentations such as this. Tons of support resources can be found on mathgoodserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.